Talking about the opposite of new and fresh, I have to mention these because I'm so hyped on these. If you had to ask me what my favorite um, Air Jordan is, it has to be the Jordan 4. My favorite Air Jordan ever has always been a Jordan 4. And it's mostly because it looks more similar to one of my favorite Nike sneakers of all time, the Nike Air Trainer 1, originally designed by the none other than Tinker Hatfield. For me, whenever I look at Jordan 4s, I see the best version of a training shoe. Sorry, I have a cross training shoe. Maybe if the if the tongue was a bit shorter, similar to the undefeated, it would work. But I think the Jordan 4 in terms of a shape, in terms of it kind of, you know, coming up to your ankle, in terms of support on the heel, in terms of how flat the outsole is, and in terms of how comfortable they are, I think they would be the perfect cross training shoe because they've been fairly influenced by the original chlorophyll Nike Air Trainer ones from back in the day. So I'm a big fan of it of Jordan 4s. <clears throat> but over the years, Jordan 4s haven't got the same level of love in terms of retro attention to details other models like the ones like the sixes like the sevens like the threes even though they still keep pumping out colorways i feel like the shapes of them have been terrible when i got the is it was it, i think i got the divine defining moments pack was the first time i bought a brand new pair of jordan 4 breads before that all of my ones were always worn so when i got the jordan 4 breads the defining moments pack one of the things that really upset me was the fact that the jordan 4s i thought the shape wise were really horrible it wasn't that great and i remember because i was so obsessed with checking out pictures or looking at old ebay listings of flipping jordan 4s from like the what the 90s or 80s or something right um some of them were the midsole or the yeah the midsole was already crumbling because the polyurethane would crumble over time if you don't look after it or whatnot um so i'd be buying those thinking i wanted to buy those to do a soul swap or something but whatever i remember just thinking look at the shape of the vintage jordan 4s compared to the ones that are available to buy nowadays and the vintage ones what happens is that the shape would be almost like a triangle right at the front it would be really pointy it'd be really flat and it wouldn't be none of this kind of odd banana foot thing that happens with most nike retros but one thing that really used to anger me was that adidas somehow figured out a way to make all these old shoes retro again to the perfect specifications of when they originally first came out you look at the campus 80s you look at the uh, superstars i have you look at the flipping zx's they've all been made exactly to spec to some of the vintage stuff they'll get vintage shoe and they'll basically deconstruct it um and then basically build it from the ground up and remake it again nike's excuse for that was that the tooling was really expensive the mold was really expensive but if you're a multi-billion dollar company and you're wanting to fleece nike you know sneak ahead from for everything they own give us good products like i would much rather take right um the same amount of retros but double the price if i know they're going to be high quality leather and they're going to be great shapes right they're going to absolutely be faithful to the original but they don't they give us the bare minimum and because sneakerheads in general just want to buy the newest thing all times and don't really have any you know they don't really have any scruples about what they buy especially hype beasts and resellers and shit they just keep churning it out well everything has changed nike are going to do or jordan brand are going to do a reimagined one which they did before now they're going to do it on the jordan fours they've already done a reimagined on the threes they're going to do a jordan fours now in my favorite bread colorway and look at the shape of these bad boys look at the shape the picture's a bit mad but i think it's been ripped apart and it's stuck back together with sellotape but this allegedly is a leaked picture of the bread jordan fours reimagined so they've made them to the exact specification to when they originally came out and the shape is fantastic even the lever because i think i remember seeing an old school bread jordan four maybe it was like from a japanese um a japanese consignment store or something i remember seeing one that had tumbled leather but i haven't seen one since then in a long time like a tumbled leather jordan 4 or like a, a leather that's very supple very soft because you know you don't really get jordan 4's breads in leather they usually come in suede that's the ones that i have i've had over the years so the fact that they've got that in this colorway um obviously with this leather it looks incredible the shape of it looks fucking banging it kind of reminds me a little bit of the jordan 4 sbs that came out the white with the pine but that shape looks so good i cannot wait to get these in my hands when i originally go out and you can even tell look at this right this is the original the reimagined one and if you scroll down to kicks on fire it shows you a version of jordan force from 2019 and you can see here the shape is weird look at the front of that shape look how long that toe box is look how flat the laces are there and the same goes for this which is one i had i had one of these right this is um I think this is a kid's one, but still, you can still see the, the shape is off at the front, right? It's really long. It's really long all the way through here. Whereas the ones, the OGs, what they're based on, 
they usually have a bit more of a shorter toe box length here and they're a little bit more of a triangular type of shape and they're a bit flat here on the toe box so they're meant to be coming out soon um this is article courtesy of kicks on fire they say with the high anticipated jordan 3 cement reimagined releasing earlier this year reports surface of another classic jordan sneaker being reimagined the jordan 4 um reimagined will come constructed out of premium leather um instead of the usual new buck construction we've seen on the originals and the past retro versions although not available unveiled yet the jordan 4 bread imagine also expected to come with a nike air brand on the hills which we always love as sneakerheads current reports suggest that we see the jordan 4 bread around your drop february 17th fuck you know it's that long away they've been leaking for ages february 17th during all star weekend for a retail price of 15 the date will be also celebrate michael jordan's 61st birthday for a complete guide on official photos releases blah 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 so yeah um following initial shot more of the images have been thing we see the images so we see a picture here on the side of the jordan 4 we also see another one on the instep that that shape is fucking perfect i don't care what anyone tells me they look so beautiful and we see another shot as well of the four foot and like i said they've been ripped apart and then sewn back together i'm not sure it's because the chinese factories are breaking these down and remaking them because that's what they do right and you see on Nike tab they'll buy legit pairs and then just break them down and get the molds remade so they can remake the fake, fake ones which is why some people in the rep community argue that reps aren't actually reps because they're usually based on the real thing you know that's what people always say because they just get the real thing and they deconstruct it and then build it up from the ground up so maybe that's the case but i'm looking forward to seeing them these are some unofficial pictures they're not really real of the actual product but i think the ones we saw above are maybe more close to what they're going to be like in terms of shape and it's another example again of old um, jordans as you can see here look at the shape look at how high this is in the middle from where your forefoot would be right on the inside to the top of your foot to the bottom of your foot that little distance there is way higher than it is on the other ones it's not as flat your foot is a bit higher up they look really good they look like the ultimate training shoe and a lot of kids used to wear them back in the day to skate in as well um one of my favorite jordans of all time like if you have them tell me to pick jordan fours are the ones and i cannot wait for the reimagines to come out so they'll be similar to what you see there in this old vintage photo from the i guess 1980s and shit so yeah looking forward to seeing them when they originally when they do eventually drop but february is fucking crazy time in it february bloody hell man bloody 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 hell so we did that we did that february there was also rumors i saw online which i'm sure are not true about the tom Sachs general purpose shoe um, it's the only it's the latest shoe no it's the last shoe actually that tom Sachs officially released before getting you know basically fired from nike because there were reports um that came out ver courtesy i think of grub street or something that he was a bad boss and a bit of a bully and maybe hurt people and stuff which should be expected right just look at tom Sachs for goodness sake you would have known that he wasn't gonna be all shun sign shun 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 